A traditional Hmong musical instrument was celebrated in St. Paul today. Our Ren Clayton went to the Landmark Center to learn more about this important piece of the Hmong culture. Gang Festival celebrated a musical instrument that's one of the most recognized symbols of the Hmong community. You have to actually say it from the back of your throat. Yeah. And then it's just like the ing at the end, ENG at the end, so ting. The day long showcase highlighted every aspect of the traditionally wooden wind instrument. Eight different reeds. Uh, to make a sound and actually it sounds very similar to the bagpipe. The Hmong Cultural Center put on this unique event. The first one and it is the first one in the nation. The festival here at the Landmark Center also featured traditional Hmong dance. People from around the country coming together to preserve the Hmong culture. Madison, Wisconsin from California. It shows that in a Hmong community we actually are you know, we're so far apart, we actually are really close together and we are still able to make you know, the trip, trip to see each other. It's played during Hmong New Year funerals and weddings. Very important for the young to showcase that it's not be performed at the funeral only. A musical heritage kept alive. A lot of the traditions is kind of lost. And so by having this uh, event to showcase the thing, to tell what the thing is about, uh, to show how that's culturally relevant and how we can even Im implement it into the, uh, you know, Hmong American story is super important. In St. Paul, Ren Clayton, WCCO4 News. If you're interested in learning how to play the instrument, good news, the Hmong Cultural Center offers classes and you'll find more information on our website.